Welcome to TSSR Game Time Live. Here you have Bushnell Prairie City Spartans versus the uh, A-Town Tornadoes. This is the BBC Round Robin Volleyball Tournament. So the games only go to 21, and if third match is needed, they only go to 15. Starting off the game, number 11, Hendricks is going to be serving for the tor Tornadoes. Serve is good, Gilly sets it. Suter hits it over. The Tornadoes kill it in. Kendricks is still serving. Hits it over to Gilly. Jackson sets it. Jana hits it over. They block it. And A Town gets the point. Suter bumps it. Aaron's got it. And Crow hits it out. Tornado's already with a three point lead. Peyton bumps it. Hits it over. Shooter bumps. Hits it over to Daisy. Daisy gets it over. Hensley bumps it. Janet hits it over. Oh, does not go over the net. Gilly's bump just falls. Poor communication on the Spartan side. Tornadoes are now up by six. Kendrick's still serving. Bad communication between Bowman and Gilfillan. And timeout. We're going to take a timeout too. I went through MDH when we were trying to get pregnant. We were struggling the first year, and then when we got pregnant, I stayed at MDH and through labor and now for pediatrics. My experience was nothing short of phenomenal. I met, was met with amazing staff members who helped me through concerns that I had when she was first born, helping me learn how to be a new mom. It was really reassuring and comforting knowing that I had so much support and kindness around me. My entire pregnancy at MDH was amazing. At Country Financial, we enjoy serving the community in which we live, big or small. I love living in the Blandonsville area. It's where I grew up, went to school, and decided to raise my family. I never had a desire to live or work anywhere other than in a small town. I feel lucky to help my longtime friends and neighbors with their insurance needs. It's like working with family every day. I'm Brett Powell, your local Country Financial representative, whose door is always open to work with you. And welcome back. Kendrick's serve went over. Crow hits it over. Kendrick sets it. Brianna spikes it over. Gilly gets it. Daisy does not get it over the net. I keep saying first names instead of last names. I keep saying first names instead of last names. Gilfield sets it. Janet hits it over. Charlie spikes it over. Daisy's got it. Gilfillan hits it over. Nice save. And no one goes and gets the ball. And just let it hit. Bushnell finally got their first point. Jackson up for the serve. And Chatterton cannot get to it in time. Bad communication once again on the tornado side. Spartans are kind of catching up. 
It's eight to three. Or and Jackson serve goes out. I guess it's eight to two. Or nine to two. Sorry. Stephens for the stir serve. Payton sets it over. Brianna spikes it over. Jan hits it over and Hunters blocks it and Aton gets the point. Stephen, 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 something for the serve. Peyton hits it over. Rolls off of Stephen, Stephen's hands and Spartans get the point. Lentini up for the serve. Hunters hits it over, Suter digs it. Chatterton hits it over, Gilly's got it, Peyton sets it. Daisy hits it over and it goes out. Hunter serving for the Tornadoes. Suit has got it. Gilly hits it over. Blocked. Brianna hits it over. Gilly blocks it. Tornadoes get it over. Brianna hits it over. Suit has got it. Gilly's got it over. Oh, Daisy gets blocked. Oh, she hits it back over. Brianna sets it over. Peyton hits it over. Good volley going on. Oh, Lexi digs for it. Oh, Brooke hits it over. Janet's got it. Aaron. Gilly. Hunters. Hendricks. And Piper hits it over. And Tornadoes end up getting the point. Hunter's still serving for their tornadoes. Serve is good. Suter's got it. Daisy hits it over. Oh, Chatterton hits it. Oh, bad communication. Then it goes out. Spartans get the point. It's now 12 to 4. Daisy Crow is up for the serve. And her serve falls short. Brianna Hensley's up for the serve for the Tornadoes. She hits it over. Janet gets it. Hits it over. Brianna gets it. Piper hits it over. Gilly hits it over. Oh, and Hunters could not get a hold of it, and it goes out. Peyton Bowman up for the serve. Underhands it. Piper sets it. Bri Brianna sets it. Gilfield hits it over. And Hunter could not get it again. Peyton Bowman still serving. Underhands it. Charlie gets it. Brianna sets it. Brooke hits it over. Janet tries to get it, but no one, Daisy can't get there in time. Tornadoes end up getting the point. It's 14 to 6. Number 13, Mia Lujan subbing in for Brooke Piper. Piper? I don't know. Number 14, Gracie Chatterton. Daisy gets it. Aaron Jackson. And Gilly hits it over. Gracie got it. Number three, Charlie Cox hits it over. Janet gets it. Brianna gets it. Charlie saves it. Or Emma Gunther saves it, sorry. 
Oh, Lexi saved it. Suter hits it over. Gracie gets it. Mia gets it. Charlie spikes it over. Suter hits it over. Charlie gets it. Or Gracie, sorry. Daisy got it. Charlie hits it over and goes into the net. Spartans get the point. Gilly serving for the Spartans. Lexi hits it. Brianna bumps it. Emma tries to hit it over, but it rolls off her fingers. Elizabeth Gilfillan still serving. Lexi gets it. Brianna gets it. And Lexi hits it over. Get. And Daisy hits it over. Brianna gets it. Mia hits it over. Peyton's got it. Aaron hits it over, and it falls. Spartans get the point. Gilly's still serving. And no one could get it. The Pawnee football boys are coming out of the locker room. The Bushnell Prairie City Spartans football team are going to play them tonight for senior day. Charlie hits it over. Here at 2 o'clock, their match will happen. Elizabeth's still serving. Lexi's got it. Brooke just barely hits it over. Goes under the net, so Spartans get the point. Spartans are making a comeback. Gilly's still serving. Charlie saves it. Brianna gets it. Lexi hits it over. Daisy could not get to it in time. Tornadoes get the point. Mia Lujan is serving for the Tornadoes. Aaron hits it over. Charlie's block is failed and Hunter hits it underneath the net. Elizabeth Suter served. Brianna gets it. Oh, Charlie cannot reach to it to hit it over. It is 15 to 14, pretty close game. Spartans have made a big comeback. Shatterton's got it. Brianna's got it. Emma hits it over. Janet hits it over. Lexi's block is incomplete, and Charlie cannot get there in time. It is now a tied game. Let's see if the Spartans can keep up. Oh, bad communication on the A-Town side. Two people went after it. They recovered, though. DC hits it over, and it's in. Spartans have taken a lead, and they have called a timeout. So we will take a timeout as well. Uh, I see acute injuries on the field. Uh, I see uh, ankle sprains. I see ACL knee injuries, as well as in the clinic it's very rewarding to see them from on the field injury to rehab to transition back to their event. Skip adding detergent to every load with the Load & Go Dispenser. Choose from models that hold enough for 20 to 40 loads. With select models even adding a second compartment for fabric softener. So clothes get the care they need 
And you can skip adding detergent every time. The Load and Go Dispenser, now available in three sizes. Brought to you by Whirlpool. At Country Financial, we enjoy serving the community in which we live, big or small. I love living in the Blandonsville area. It's where I grew up, went to school, and decided to raise my family. I never had a desire to live or work anywhere other than in a small town. I feel lucky to help my longtime friends and neighbors with their insurance needs. It's like working with family every day. I'm Brett Powell, your local Country Financial representative, whose door is always open to work with you. Welcome back, and the Spartans have already taken another point. Tornadoes had a little bit bad communication. Suter is still serving. Piper gets it. Brianna saves it. Hunter hits it over. Gil Fillon gets it. Aaron's got it. Janet hits it over. Chatterton. Hensley. Daisy's got it, and it goes out. Tornadoes get a point. Daisy hits it over, does not go over the net. The game is tied again, 17 to 17. Hendricks is serving for the Tornadoes again. Gilfillan's got it, Jackson's got it. Daisy hits it over. Hendricks hits it over, Suter's got it, Aaron. Shannon hits it over, Hendricks gets it, and Lexi could not hit it over, Spartans. Take the lead. Aaron Jackson serving. Piper's got it, hits it over. Aaron could not get there in time. Tied again. Number 18, Stephen Stevens come in, comes in for Charlie Cox. Her serve goes into the net. Janet got a little frightened there. Took her a second to get her heart beating again. Here she is serving. Oh, the ball barely got over, gets over and no one could get there to get it. Spartans just need one more point to take the win. Well, for this match, this set. Piper gets it, Hendricks gets it. And the Spartans take the lead. So with that, uh, the Spartans end up taking game one, 21-18, your final score in set number one. We will get you set for set number two right after this. You're listening to TSSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. Dry needling is where you insert a filiform needle into a muscle, a tendon, a ligament, um, sometimes a bone, and it promotes blood flow and circulation so that it heals that particular painful area. Well, I've always had an interest in the medical field, and then growing up, I actually went through physical therapy myself for an injury, and that got me back to playing my sports and the activities that I loved. So seeing that firsthand, I got to see how much physical therapy could really benefit others. At Country Financial, we enjoy serving the community in which we live, big or small. I love living in the Blandonsville area. It's where I grew up, went to school, and decided to raise my family. I never had a desire to live or work anywhere other than in a small town. I feel lucky to help my longtime friends and neighbors with their insurance needs. It's like working with family every day. I'm Brett Powell, your local country financial representative, whose door is always open to work with you. Welcome back to Bushnell Prairie City High School. As we get to set four, set number two here on this afternoon of volleyball. The Spartans were victorious in their first set, winning 21-18 over the A-Town Tornadoes. And now they will go to work back here in set number two as we are ready to go. 
maybe the other official figuring some stuff out at the scorer's table. After that, we'll be ready to go. And it does look like we're just fixing lineups and stuff like that. On the court for the A-Town Tornadoes, we've got Charlie Cox, Alexia Hunter, Brooke Piper, Brianna Hensley, Kondra Hendricks, and Gracie Chatterton. So, Cox, Hendricks, Chatterton, Hunter. And it'll be set over by Hendricks to Gilfella, the Jackson, outside Daisy Crow. And it's going to get put up there by Hunter. Hunter to Suter, Suter to Jackson. Jackson gets it over, dug out by Hensley. Hensley gets it across to Hunter, and it's going to be into the net. And the Spartans with an early 1-0 lead. So the Spartans taking care of business here early, up 1-0. Dug out by Piper and then Hensley. And Hensley's got it. They go outside. Now to that is number three, Charlie Cox. And into the net. So Cox hits that one in the net. Hey, and it's two to nothing. Spartans. But so took set number one. Aaron Jackson back out to serve. It's across good. It was Hendricks. Piper into the net. 3 0. So the Spartans coming out swinging here early. As they are up 3 0. <clears throat> 3 0 Spartans. Piper. Hensley. Outside to Hendricks. Suter. Jackson. Outside to Crow. Crow taps it over. Piper to Hensley. And they're going to go to Hunter and. Suter brought the foot up there. Looked like she was going to kick that ball. Don't know really what she was doing there, but looked like she was about to kick that one up. It's 3-1. to one. So Suter is kind of a self-defense looking thing there. And Hendricks will get back to serve. Hendricks gets it over to Bowman. Bowman will get it over to Jackson. Jackson to Crow. And Crow hits it. The that is 3-2. Part by all again. Three to two is your score. And I go across. Gilfillan. Gilfillan to Jackson. Jackson outside. Lentini going to set it across. Picked up by Piper. Piper over to Hendricks. Hendricks gets it across. Now the Spartans coming on the attack. And Daisy Crow hits it into the net. And we have a tie game, folks. 3-3 three, three here in the second set. 3-3 three, three is... Kondra Hendricks, Kandra Hendricks comes back to serve. Tell us where you're listening from if you're out there listening to today's games. Just tell us where you're listening from, who you're chewing for, and who you're rooting for. Let us know. It'll be a Spartans point, and it's 4-3 in favor of Bushnell. Lintini gets it across, and Brooke Piper can't do anything with that one. That is an ace for Janet Lintini. It's 5-3. Janet Lindini. Is it across? Hunter to Hendricks. Outside they go to Hensley. Suter. Jackson. They're going to go to Crow again. Crow gets it across and it's out of bounds. They tried again by cheering just to see if that would work. It's clearly out of bounds. And number three, that is Charlie Cox. She checks out and welcoming into the game Maddie Stevens. So Stevens will take over. At the serving position, she hits it right in the net. So, the substitution not working out in the Tornado's favor. Spartans get the side out, and it's 6-4. Daisy Crow back to serve for the Bushnell Prairie City Spartans. Crow gets it across to Piper. Piper goes to Hendricks. Hendricks across to Hunter. Here come the Tornadoes. Hendricks over to Hensley. Hunter. Dug out by Crow, out of bounds. 
Tornadoes get the point there. It's 6-5. The good thing about this game, it's been really back and forth. Both, both teams going back and forth at each other. It's not been a blowout, so that's always been nice. Hunters serve good. Suter coming across with the attack, and it's going to fall in there. So Suter gets the kill, and now Peyton Bowman out to serve. And Bowman is, will be scooped up by number 14, Gracie Chatterton. Jackson, Gilfillan. Back row Hunter. They go to Piper. Piper to the back row. Did they get it? Yes, they did. Tornadoes rally back at 7 6. Hensley's serve gets across to Lentini. Lentini gets it over to Suter. Suter over to Gilfill, and they work it over. Get it to Hunter. Hunter to Hensley, and miscommunication, but Chatterton's got it. Bowman out to Jackson. Jackson to Suter. Kill is no. Alexia Hunter got it. Seven seven here. Miscommunication. Bowman wasn't sure. It's eight seven. Eight seven. It is a town on top. Suter gets it over to Jackson. Jackson gonna pass it over. Hunter to Hensley. Hensley to Piper. Piper with the hit. It goes over and out of bounds. Side out for the Tornadoes. They lead 9-7. Out of bounds. Elizabeth Suter hits that one out of bounds. It's 10-7 in favor of the A-Town Tornadoes. Emily Gunther is checked into the ball game. Gunther sets it up for Piper. Piper comes down hard on it, and it's out of bounds. And the Tornadoes add another, and we have a timeout taken by Judy Bowman and the Spartans. Today's game is brought to you by MDH. McDonough District Hospital, thank you for voting. McDonough District Hospital Rehabilitation Center is best of the best in McDonough County. Let their experience in dedicated sports medicine and rehabilitation staff show you why MDH has been voted best of the best in 2017, 2018, 2019, and again in 2020. Three convenient locations to serve you, two in Macomb and one in Bushnell. Without MDH, this would be not a very easy task to do, so thank you very much for MDH for sponsoring TSSR Game Time Live, able to get these high school sports out to people that are unable to get out to the game. So thank you so much to MDH and all the other sponsors that we have. Another one being Country Financial, Agent Brett Powell. Your farm is your legacy. As leading farm insurer, Country Financial is here to help protect it. Call Brett Powell for your local country rep at 309-652-3889 for a free quote today. As both teams break the timeout, it's 11-7 in favor of the A-Town Tornadoes. Spartans took the early 21-18 victory. Back row to Crow. Crow's going to go to Jackson. Jackson's going to hit it over to Gilfillan. Comes straight down on it, gets the point, and the Spartans get an early point right out of the timeout. Only took three passes in order to get that 11-8 in favor of the A-Town Tornadoes. On the floor for the Tornadoes, we've got Chatterton. We've got Hensley, Piper. We've got, as well, Hunter. Cox and Gunther. And there's Gunther. Gunther gets it across. And Piper. Lentini coming down with a kill. She's got another. Janet Lentini held nothing back there. 
and came all the way down with that one, and Janet Lentini has made this an 11-9 game. Gil Fillin serves, scooped up by Cox. Piper gets it across, Bowman just one hand, just throws the hand out there, no good, and it is 12-9, so the Spartans. Spark has been put out just a little bit. We'll see if they can rebound here. Lentini trying to keep this mojo up for the Spartans, and that is going to be just off the hands of Daisy Crow. Hit off her the end of her hands there, just no good, and now it is 13-9. Bowman gets it over. Suter nearly fell over on that one. That was a Wobbly hit over to Suter again. Gets it across. Crow. Jackson. Crow's going to hit it across way out of bounds. 14-9. A little ahead of schedule here. This game was not supposed to start until 1 o'clock. And here we are at 110. And Lentini can't do anything with that one. The Tornadoes add another. It's 15-9. Remember, the first two sets go to 21. After that, you go to 15 if necessary in the third one. And there's Janet Lentini coming straight down with that one. And it's a five-point lead now for the A-Town Tornadoes. Gracie Chatterton having to go all the way up the bleachers to get that one. Piper shoves it across. Elizabeth Suter had a really good run er, earlier on in a few games serving, so we'll see how she gets to work here. Hensley gets it across. There's Cox, and that didn't even get over. So four hits into the net for the Tornadoes, point goes to the Bushnell Prairie City Spartans. 15-11, Suter across, just out of bounds. Not by much, that one just snuck out of bounds. It is 16-10, 16-11, excuse me. Number seven is checked into the game, that is... Revelorio. Revelorio is checked into the ball game to do some serving. It's just me here in this game and alongside the cameraman. We're going to be doing the next couple games here. We've only got a couple left. BPC and North Fulton after this, and North Fulton and Rova will play after that. So I've had a couple of different high school students doing some doing some uh Broadcasting here with TSSR, Dwayne Hewlett. So uh, big shout out to Dwayne for all the hard work he does in this community and all bringing these high school games to you without Dwayne. Uh, this, this would be a big mess. So thank you, Dwayne, for, for all you do, getting the high school kids involved as well. Um, Dwayne a very able to do that very well. So with that, the Tornadoes just had another one on the hit from the lefty. That is Emma Gunther. So... Gunther actually going to check out after that one. And Kendra Hendricks will come on back in and do some serving. Hendricks gets it across and maybe not, does not get it across. So the Spartans with life here, only down by four. Down by three. 17 14. Suter, Lentini. Bowman just going to tap it across. Piper. Good snag by Elizabeth Suter. Lentini and Jackson work to get it across. Now we got Hensley. Hensley's going to go to Hunter. Hunter's just going to bring it straight down. And the Tornadoes add another. They're up by four. Cox gets it across to Lentini. Lentini to Jackson to Gil Fella. It's blocked, but they get it back over, and it falls. Daisy Crow with the kill there. Just boom, put it right back where they weren't expecting it. 
And it's 18-15. Crow gets it across. Gets it across to Hunter. Hunter's going to get it up. And Hensley gets it over. Suter. Doesn't get it over. On the lift by Elizabeth Suter. It's 19-15. Four-point game. We go to 21 in these games. Hunter gets it across. Scooped up by Crow. Crow to Jackson. Inbounds. And the Spartans with life only down by three. Spartans won the first set. 21-18. Bowman. Gets it across. Hunter goes to Chatterton outside Brooke Piper. Out of bounds. 2019. Just stop the hands of Emily Jackson in the wrong way, and Gracie Chatterton checks out, and Emma Gunther will check in for the A-Town Tornadoes. Bowman, Jackson, Gilfillan, dug out by Cox. And that's going to hit the out of bounds. Uh, pull up at the top. It's 20 to 17. Gill filling gets it across. Cox has got it to Hensley. Piper in the middle. Dug out by Gilly. They get it across. Hensley again. How about Gunther to Piper again? Out of bounds. And it's a two-point game. <laughs> Off Piper. Piper to Hensley. Gunther gets it across. Crow. And Piper's going to end it. So with that, the Tornadoes take care of business. They win set number two, 21 to 18. So with that, we will go ahead, take a quick break. We will be back shortly after this for set number three. You're listening to TSSR Game Time Live presented by MDH. At Western Illinois University, Leathernecks don't just blend in. Our purple stands out. Our students are innovative, creative, and resilient. At WIU, there's limitless potential with campuses in Macomb, the Quad Cities, and online. Visit wiu.edu slash potential to become a Leatherneck and get an education that stands out. MDH Sport Medicine Rehab is just not for the athlete. Um, we see a variety of ages, getting them from having pain to no pain to get back to their normal activities and their prior level of function. At Country Financial, we enjoy serving the community in which we live, big or small. I love living in the Blanetsville area. It's where I grew up, went to school, and decided to raise my family. I never had a desire to live or work anywhere other than in a small town. I feel lucky to help my longtime friends and neighbors with their insurance needs. It's like working with family every day. I'm Brett Powell, your local Country Financial representative, whose door is always open to work with you. Welcome back to TSSR Game Time Live, which is presented by MDH, McDonough District Hospital, and the MDH Rehabilitation Center with locations in Bushnell and Macomb provide athletic trainers who give expert help to area student athletes in prevention, care, and rehabilitation of all athletic injuries. Learn more at mdh.org. McDonough District Hospital, more than hospital care, a hospital caring. So with the first set, the Spartans were victorious, 21-18, and then the A-Town Tornadoes took... The matter's into their own hands and won the second one with the same score, 21-18. So now we'll go ahead and get set for set number three. Since A-Town won the last set, they'll go ahead and get the serve after the um, coin flip they won. So A-Town will go ahead and do the serving here. They will get the ball to start. This one will only go to 15 as we get you set for set three. Hendricks gets it across. Spartans coming at you. Suter gets it over. Hunter 
Gelfillen. Wow, what a what a dig by Gelfillen. Hendricks gonna go to Hensley. And Gelfillen just not able to get to that one. One to nothing here early. In favor of the Tornadoes. Roe Williams Field is here as well as North Fulton. Those will be the three teams after this game. A Town will be done for the day. That one's hit in the net by Daisy Crow. And it's 2 0 early here for the Tornadoes. You can't be messing around too much here. They only go into 15. Bowman. Lentini. Oh, blocked. Out of bounds. Great block from Alexia Hunter, but just, just out of bounds. Hunter reared back there, had a pretty good hit, but just, just out of bounds. Piper. Hendricks. Hensley. Spartans get it back over, but out of bounds. Three to one, Tornadoes. Charlie Cox will head back to do the serving for A-Town, and she will get it, get it across, but out of bounds. And a side out to the Spartans, three to two. Here goes Alexia Hunter, out of bounds. So now we're tied at three. Lentini gets it across, and Piper just. So it's 4-3 Bushnell. And that one just just fell in the right spot for the Spartans. So it's 5-3. Janet Lentini back to serve. Gets it across. Barely. Alexia Hunter just going to tap it across. And the Spartans. Way too many hits for Elizabeth Gilfillan. And a side out to the Tornadoes. Alexia Hunter back to serve. She'll get it across. Gilfillan. To Crow, or no, not to Crow, to Jackson. Jackson trying to get it to Crow, but didn't get it there. And another point for the A-Town Tornadoes and Alexia Hunter. Hunter gets it across. What a play by Suter. But just snuck out of bounds. Had a little too much juice on that one on the pass back. So 6-5. Hunter. Gets it to Suter. They go outside. Gilfillan. Out of, out of bounds. 7-5 in favor of the Tornadoes. Alexia Hunter has looked really sharp at serving. Gilfillan. Out of bounds. So maybe a timeout coming soon. And yes, there is. Timeout taken by Judy Bowman and the Spartans. So with that... We'll take a quick timeout and be back right after this. You're listening to TSSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. I went through MDH when we were trying to get pregnant. We were struggling the first year, and then when we got pregnant, I stayed at MDH and through labor and now for pediatrics. My experience was nothing short of phenomenal. I met, was met with amazing staff members who helped me through concerns that I had when she was first born, helping me learn how to be a new mom. It was really reassuring and comforting knowing that I had so much support and kindness around me. My entire pregnancy at MDH was amazing. Welcome back to TSSR Game Time Live presented by MDH. With that, we will go ahead and get you set out of the timeout. This is set number three between the A-Town Tornadoes and the Bushnell Prairie City Spartans. The first to get to 15 will win this one. Alexia Hunter is back to serve for the A-Town Tornadoes. And 
It is served, and how about Gilfillan? Gets the side out for the Spartans. So it is six to eight now. Let's see if I can find my there's my scoreboard program. Daisy Crow ready to serve, gets it across. Hunter to Hendricks. Hendricks outside Piper. And it's gonna fall in there. So the tornadoes with a side out there. Tornadoes get the ball back. It's 9-6. And it'll be Brianna Hensley to do the serving. Hensley serve, gets across. Bowman, just a poor pass there from Peyton Bowman. And the Tornadoes take a 10-6 lead. Lentini. Over to Chatterton. Chatterton again. A pair of hits there for Gracie Chatterton. The first one was able to be dug out by the Spartans, but the second one, absolutely not. So Gracie Chatterton gets the kill. And the point to the A-Town Tornadoes. Brianna Hensley gets it across. Back row out of bounds. Side out. Point to the Spartans. Eleven seven. Bowman gets it across to Piper. Piper to Hensley. Piper back. Blocked. Piper gets it across. And Twelve seven tornadoes with the lead. Bushnell plays North Fulton after this. Lentini will not get it across. Four hits for the Spartans, and it's thirteen to seven. So that cross Lentini. Suter. Tip, that's a lift, but no call there. Suter, gonna set it across. They get it to Cox. Piper, back to Cox. Cox out to Crow. Out of bounds. 14-7, Tornadoes on top. And now, possibility for the Tornadoes to win here. Suter just going to set it across. Cox gets it to Hensley. Hensley going to go middle to Piper. Blocked. And Hensley just, or Piper just stuck the foot out there, kicked it. So that's a couple of different attempts to just kick the volleyball now, I guess. Guess we're playing some soccer out here. It's a 14-8. Elizabeth Gill filling with the serve. Gets it across. Back row to Hunter. Hunter gets it out to Hensley. Hensley going to go to Piper. They're just going to throw it across. Gill filling to Jackson. Jackson gets it out to Suter. Hensley. Piper. What a dig by Crow in the back row. Hey, that rhymed. And it's bobbled by Gelfillen, and the Tornadoes win the third set, 15-8. So with that, the Tornadoes are victorious in the BPC Round Robin Volleyball Tournament between the A-Town Tornadoes and the Bushnell Prairie City Spartans. With that, we'll go ahead and have open up another stream and get you the 2 o'clock game between Bushnell Prairie City and the North Fulton Wildcats. We'll be back shortly after this on a new stream. Thank you.